Hey, I'm Christy Friesen, and guess what I'm going to show you today? I'm here at the Cool Tools studio because you need to know how to make your own mold. Have you done this before? Because it's really fun. So what we're going to do is use Mega Mold, which is a silicone mold making material to make flexible, reusable molds of whatever it is you have in mind that you can use with epoxy and resin and polymer clay and metal clay and whatever you get up to. All right, let's take a look at how to do that. Okay, so first of all, let's look at the mold making material. This is the Mega Mold, and as you can see, it comes in lovely colors. Now, there's no reason why one color is better than the other, but you just might have a favorite. But feel free to mix and match, it's all fun. But the neat thing about this is it's been pre-measured for you. All silicone mold making material has to have two separate but equal parts combined for the chemical process to start, which ends in these wonderful flexible molds that can be used again and again. So luckily, they're already in bite-sized chunks for you. Now, I just wanted to show you each one of these, and you can see how many colors there are of different kinds of materials, are very bendable and flexible, which is great when it comes to releasing the mold. So let's go ahead and set up something to be molded. Now, I just have a little bit of polymer clay here. It's always good to put a background first and put your materials on top. That way, the mold material has something to kind of spread against and doesn't get up underneath things. So I went out to the meadow and I just picked myself some little meadow bits and I'm shoving them into the clay. Isn't that nice? Uh, the clay is really, really good. It just gives you a perfect little staging ground. So let's just see how well this will look once we make a mold of it. All right, open your container. You've got your two parts. Don't worry, this is non-toxic stuff, although definitely don't eat it, but you shouldn't have any problem putting it in your hands. If you have sensitive hands, then you can definitely wear gloves if you prefer. Now you see what I'm doing is I'm just pushing this together to mix this thoroughly. If you see streaks of color, it ain't done yet. Keep on going because the chemical reaction cannot take place if everybody hasn't thoroughly mixed it up. You've got to have all the people playing together so that they become one new thing. So as you can tell, there's still little bits of streaks in there, but pretty soon they will be gone. So you see what we've got now? We've got this funky fun stuff, all one color. Now what I usually do is I just kind of make it into a ball again so I can get rid of cracks and creases and stuff so that doesn't become part of my mold. And I'm going to lay it down on the surface and push. Some people take their material and put it on the top, but see there's gravity. And gravity will just make that thing you're trying to mold sink down in, sometimes uneven. You get kind of a weird little double image. So I always like to go on the top down, that way gravity can fill in the gaps. All right, now you just leave it alone. Just leave it alone, don't put it in the oven, don't do anything crazy to it. It's gonna take a little while to cure. And I have another one that I made earlier. You can tell when it's cured by if you stick your fingernail in it and it doesn't leave an impression, it's done. And then all you do is lift off your material. Sometimes you have to remove what you put in there and that thing that you molded is still good to use. It's not gonna ruin it. And now look what we have. We have a wonderful mold ready for you to impress with metal clay or polymer clay or epoxy or resin or whatever the heck. Visit our learning center at cooltools.us for more cool jewelry making videos. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and be sure to sign up for our email list to be the first to hear about new videos, new products, and other cool stuff from Cool Tools. Thank you.